Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos and happy birthday, Virg. So today I pulled two cards for your person. I'm going to get into them in a minute. I feel like it's one of them, Virg. It's one of those days. Okay, so your overall energy, I already see you started to be decisive about this. Like you're, you're not as hard on yourself here, Virg, about you being in an in-between state is what I'm getting with this person. Part of you is trying to move forward. Part of you is still kind of a tad invested in the past, but you've, you've lost some stuff dealing with this person, whether it be money, some sleep, okay? Like whether, whatever it could be, but you feel like there's certain things about this person, certain things about this union that you do need to reconsider. And I feel like that is what you're being clear on with yourself. Like, all right, well, I can't act like it's all fun and giggles. I can't. As much as I'd like to, as much as I like this person, but they do leave me confused or I don't like how it's going. Right? So that's kind of your overall energy here, Virg. Let me know down below in the comments. But I did pull two cards for your person. Now, the first card they pulled was Game Playing and Cycles. 111 on the timer. Okay, so Virg, I'm already getting the energy where you've been going around and around and around with that same old tune. Um, this sounds like a couple of your other readings here. I feel like some of you guys are still dealing with that same person or they're coming back. Okay, especially around your season. Now, I feel like with this, the game playing that they do, Virg, like, I feel like you can see it from a mile away. You already know that. I feel like there's also energy with you. Where it's like, no matter what they do or what they say, you kind of get excited, but there's also that part of you that holds out um, the fact that they're probably not going to follow through, right? So with this card, which I find interesting, is that they pulled all action with the energy toward you. So I feel like your person wants to show you different or, or show you better than they can tell you, kind of use action instead of their words. They might have overly relied on words, overly relied on just like feeling that you guys would always be good. Like, listen, listen, Buster, it's not always going to be good. You will be left in the dust. And I feel like, Virg, that's something that your person is starting to see. Yeah, five of pentacles, again, left clean in the dust. Okay, so let's get some of your energy here, Virgo. Then I'm going to get into your person. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody born in February. Pisces season is going to be significant for many of you guys. Yeah, I just, I just got that confirmation. Yeah, okay. Um, give me more here, Spirit, on how my Virgo is feeling. Two of Cups, bottom deck, ten of swords, Dale. Okay. Virgo, when you first met this person, there was nothing that you didn't feel confident when it came to this person about. Right? Like, you felt like, damn, like, I can really see myself with them. There's so many things that I appreciate about them. There's so many things that I adore about them that I find so wonderful about them. And I feel like part of you, you still feel that way, right? Just because they play games with you doesn't mean that you no longer look at them as a, um, as like a good suitor, but they just may not be like proper for you now. Because with the Ten of Swords, this is like either, this could be two different energies. So let me know down below in the comments. One energy, which is the most prominent energy, is that something that you got out of, you got out of something, Virg, and then this took off. And you're like, oh, great, I found somebody. But that could have been a little too damn quick. That could have been a rebound situation. I'm also getting another energy for many of you guys where this person, they could have promised you something over and over again or said that they were going to do something, be somewhere, hang out with you, answer your phone calls. But they didn't do those things. And they proved to you that they're not really trustworthy or they don't follow through on their words or something like that. What is this? Why is the two of cups here? Yeah, seven of uh, seven of wands. Wow, very good. Okay, so I feel like you might have a friend or two who aren't too keen on this person, and you're very protective. Somebody talks about this person, you're like, no, no, they didn't. They have another chance, or it's not that big of a deal. You put up with X, Y, Z, so don't be telling me ish about my man or my woman. All right, that's only for a couple of you guys, but uh, for the seven of wands, I'm just getting an energy where you wish that this person would have protected the union more. You wish that they would have cultivated a safe space for you to thrive and flourish, because I feel like there's so much that you want to give to this person, so much that you want to do with this person. Um, and it's just like, it's just like, man, it's just, I feel like Virg, you have all these plans, right? And unbeknownst to this person, but you had all these plans with how the situation is supposed to go, but it's like what you're receiving, you're not, you're not pleased with it, right? Like you're not pleased with it. Whatever this person is giving you they're cause they're giving you something. They, they do have something to offer. I don't feel like this person is just completely empty handed, but I do feel like what they're giving is not something that you feel too excited to receive. 
All right, give me one more. Then I'm going to get into your person's energy. Yeah, the Nine of Cups came out in the reverse. Virgo is not pleased. Okay, Virgo is not pleased. And I feel like there's an energy where, in an odd way, you feel like you're ascending to higher commitment with them with this 11-11 um, halfway to marriage card. But there's also energy here, Virg, where even though it feels like that, you're, you're unhappy or you're not having certain needs met. So it, it's, it just can't be that, right? Like, all right, let's get more into your person. What is this game plan? They feel, like, they feel like you think that they're always playing games, that they're always on some bullshit. Okay, like always. What is this? Page of one. They think that you find them, um, that you find them immature or uh, a, a bit green. They could be younger than you here, uh, Virgo. But you find them, I think they think that you're still curious about them. They're still curious about you. But there's a part of your energy, Virgo, whether you told them this or they're sensing this from you, where you're maybe starting to back up in a certain sense. I feel like you, this person could have just messaged you. It could be a younger Aries for some of you guys. It does not have to be. I feel like this person could have just messaged you or is going to message you, uh, particularly talking about plans, travel plans. Okay, maybe you coming to see them, them coming to see you. Give me more. I'm not picking up on this reading, so I'm not going to say it, whether you guys are in communication or not. It feels murky. It feels like you guys are in communication sometimes. Sometimes you don't talk, but there's never like a dead stop to the situation. Okay, why is the Page of Wands here with your energy toward my Virgo at this time? Okay, Nine of Wands. Okay. I feel like right now when your person... Um, when they think about messaging you, think about seeing you, think about giving you any kind of hope for the future, they're a little bit afraid, right? Because they feel like you might take them too seriously um, than what they're able to give right now. So in another, okay, I just got another energy. So um, I'm going to hold that thought. I just got another energy because I'm watching this uh, seven of cups in the reverse here. So I feel like your person knows that you are... They're wondering, okay, thank you, Spirit. They're wondering if you are the suitor for them that's like, the, that the tie is strong enough for them to put aside other options, for them to really make you a priority. It doesn't have to necessarily always be about other options as in people, but just like maybe um, they're full blown in their career. They're going really hard. They're doing something. Um, they're doing something like uh, feverishly, right? Like, so with the seven of cups here in the reverse, I feel like they're, really contemplating, like, do I make Virgo a priority? Like, is this that kind of thing? So they seem to be figuring it out. Your person seems like they're the type to be a little bit, e like, evasive um, as far as, like, what, where you guys stand while they're still figuring you guys out. They're not going to tell you, like, Virgo, yeah, I don't know about this just yet. I'm figuring it out. They're not going to say that. They're acting as though you guys are moving forward, but you kind of not. And I feel like your person is in that situation where it's like, all right, am I really going to move this forward? What is this? Okay. We're getting a lot of travel energy here. All right. So let me know if you guys are traveling maybe for your birthday or your person is going to travel to you. You're traveling to them. But with the six of swords, this is, this is like a, a moving on, not moving on from you, but moving on from this dilemma, moving on from this chaos. Uh, what are they, what are they wanting to move forward? Because uh, these are action oriented cards as well, right? And this is the second card that they pull. So tell me about this action that this person is determined to take toward my Virgo at this time. Okay. So the two cards that we pulled is triggered and organic growth. Okay. So something about this connection is highly triggering for your person. And I feel like something about the mind, something about the intellect, something about you being able to see through them or you understanding a lot more about them than they think. Um, they're always pleasantly surprised that you see them at this level. Because some people might just think, oh, they're a handsome person or they're successful or whatever. But you, Virgo, you have a certain, um, I want to say like a very sharp mind, a very keen eye for like souls, for seeing deeper than what's on the surface. And I feel like your person knows that. So they know that like you're not just a regular woman. You're not just a regular guy. Like there's something real to you. And with the organic growth card here, your person feels like it's natural. Like they're, they're naturally inclined to you. It's not forced. Right. This, this situation definitely doesn't feel forced. All right. And that's what I got because I was like, oh, it's a little murky whether you guys are talking, whether you're not. So I'm not going to speak on it because I really cannot. I'm not picking up on it here, Virg. But I am. Pick, I think that situation is so murky for me as a reader because 
there's never like a, oh, I'm done with you. I don't feel like if this is that kind of situation, it could be, but I'm not picking up on it at least. Um, it doesn't feel like I'm done. It just feels like uh, things are a little weird. So you're taking your space, I'm taking mine and I'll speak to you when you contact me or um, you'll speak to me when I contact you kind of energy. Okay, so what is this person, why is the organic card here? What is this? With how this person is feeling toward my Virgo at this time? What is this? Okay. Oh, the world card was flipped over. I knew a card flipped over. You got three travel cards, Virgo. So somebody's traveling here, you're traveling to them, they're traveling to you. Um, but I am getting an energy where it's natural, this person naturally gravitates toward you. I don't know why I keep getting that. Give me more clarity on this. And you might think, Virgo, um, okay, so we have apology and sincere. I'm not getting a sorry energy, um, which you could be, apologies could be in order, but the, uh, the energy that I'm feeling heavily, like heavily from this card is sincere. So I, per I feel like your person sincerely, like in organically and um, again, very naturally, like all those kinds of, all those feelings come up within them and that makes them want to come toward you or be closer to you, 11-11 on the timer. Okay, what sparked this within this person? What is this? What sparked this in this person? Okay, we got the Knight of Pentacles. The most stable knight in the deck. Very slow, right? But very, very stable. Um, now, it's interesting because this horse doesn't look like it's moving. To me, right? Like, it's, it's, it's still. It don't got no bending in the knee. It's not about to move nothing. So I feel like this person, again, they move very slow when it comes to commitment. I feel like your person is still figuring that out. However, they can't, they can't release you. I don't think they want to. I don't think they're going. That's not what I'm getting from this person. I feel like they're very, very careful, very cautious about who and how they make their offer. Because this is the first card that came out um, as far as like making you an actual offer here. Let me get one more card. Okay. Thank you. So remember when I talked about this person is very... Priority, some, some priority, right? And it could be their job. We did get focused on money. So that could be why they're very slow. And that could also be why they come off emotionally unavailable here, Berg, because your person knows that once emotions get in the picture, once feelings and the I love you start getting thrown around and I got a man, I got a woman, things in their life change drastically. So I feel like your person is really careful about that. When you met them, they may not have been emotionally available. Um, but perhaps that that could be turning. I mean, I don't I don't see this person operating too much in their emotions here, Berg. I'm not seeing it. Okay. I also this card just popped out, so you could be frustrated with them, or, or they're frustrated with you. This process. Give me more spirit on this person's energy toward my Virgo at this time. Oh, okay. We got tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so that's a, my very soon card. Something is happening very soon within this connection or you're going to see something very soon. At the bottom of the deck, we have hiding my feelings. I think, you, and thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. Remember, I was like, Berg, I'm, I don't see emotions here. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Not that they don't care for you, but I just don't see it, okay? Um, but with the hiding my feelings, this is, this is um, confirming that. Thank you, Spirit. And your person indeed does have feelings, but they're not, they're not showing them. Um, especially with this emotionally unavailable card coming out, but we'll see how that may change throughout the reading. I'm going to overturn these cards in the extended Berg. I'm going to get this person's next actions toward you, how they're truly feeling, but do not have the courage to say, as well as likely outcomes. So if you are interested, everything is down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute, Berg.